Timor-Leste, also known as East Timor, is a small Southeast Asian country just north of Australia that shares an island with Indonesia. Most people there are farmers and the farming is difficult. Almost all work is done by hand. Historically, Timorese agriculture has a laundry list of factors working against it. A powerful dry season when nearly nothing grows, an equally powerful wet season that often leads to erosion, there are depleted soils and low yield seed strains, traditional storage techniques that have high post-harvest losses, and farmers use a traditional slash and burn farming method that leads to tired soil, deforestation, and erosion in the mountains. And on a global scale, slash and burn also contributes to climate change. All of this leads to food insecurity for this tiny country. One solution to these problems began with a small community project that got local farmers growing improved seeds. And it worked, except it wasn't big enough. So in 2011, Seeds of Life, a program within the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, began selecting improved seed varieties for a nationwide seed system. The object of the program was to improve food security by improving the production of the staple crops. Food security is begin with seed security, meaning that if you secure a good quality seed, then you can guarantee food security. Basically speaking, this is how that program works. Seeds of Life conducts research and development selecting new, improved seed varieties. Contract farmers take those seeds and grow more. Those seeds are certified. Then, officially registered commercial seed production groups grow more of those seeds for sale. The ministry buys back those seeds and distributes to local farm co-ops across the country. Those farmers grow food for their villages. About 33, 40,000 farmers will get seed just this year in the 300 plus tons that the ministry is buying from these commercial seed producers. At the end of the dry season, this is what that program looks like in the fields. Bags and bags of seed corn waiting for the Ministry of Agriculture to pick them up. This is one of about 60 commercial seed production cooperatives around East Timor. And the seeds are new, open-pollinated varieties developed for high yields. They also are well adapted to East Timor's regular droughts and sudden heavy rainfalls. The average increase in production for maize is about 50% on local, uh, rice about 25, peanut about 25, sweet potatoes 65 to 130%. The government used to import uh, the seeds, um, 300 to 400 tons of seeds every year uh, from other countries. So right now the commercial seed producers are producing enough seed uh, almost 90% of the seed that is required by the MAF to distribute to the communities. So this year, the ministry will uh, allocate more. 100 tons of rice and 100 tons of maize will be purchased locally. So that is the benefit for farmers because they will get the money, commercial, and for the ministry is that they will reduce the fund that they expend uh, in overseas to, to import the seed. This is another key point of the program, help local farmers make more money. Not only does the program help farmers make more money, the new foods save time and preparation, and they taste good. Another 
Another key component to the Seeds of Life program is grain storage. Historically, up to 30% of harvested crops were lost to rot and bugs. But a program to sell reduced cost barrels to farmers has drastically reduced losses. The native way of storing uh, is just to tie the cobs together at the top and hang them in a tree or maybe in the house over the fire place. If you shell it and store it in an airtight drum, that kills the weevils or whatever, including the eggs, are smothered. Um, and uh, you can store securely for a long period. There is a key reason why all of this is so important. Climate change. Scientists predict East Timor will have hotter dry seasons, wetter wet seasons, and unpredictable rainfall. All of this will make it harder for farmers to consistently grow what they need. It's an issue that is being discussed at the highest levels of government. The, the, the implications are very clear on climate change, particularly in agriculture, uh, but it also has to do with, uh, has also implications with in, in other areas, uh, such as water and sanitation. Low rain, the variable rainfall, yeah, uh, the prolonged drought, um, and also the rise in the temperatures, so the varieties we develop uh, should be tolerant to the you know the this this kind of the climate risk. Yeah. Nearly 90 percent of East Timor's rural population relies on farming, and already malnutrition is a critical health problem across the country. More than 50 percent of kids under five are stunted. The predicted effects of climate change would exacerbate this. Farmers in East Timor face a long, tough road. But the hope is that these seeds will build security for farmers for generations to come. <laughs>